let us look at uh, this uh, question. <coughs> now, this question will lead uh, from design or number to tables and graphs. So this is a question which relates numbers, tables, and graphs. Uh, that's one of the achievement standards that you have in uh, MCA level 1 called tables, numbers, and graphs. So let's read the question. This is a math stick pattern. So each line is a math stick. This is the first design, the second design, and the third design. So let the count <coughs> let's count the number of math stick. So the first has the four square uh, the four sides of the squares are four. The diagonals are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the first design has ten math stick. The second design has ten and you should not count this the second time because this is a common math stick. So this is 10 and then of course this is 10 and if you take away this one, so 10 plus 9, <coughs> excuse me, which is 19. So again this is 10, 9 plus 9. Okay, I hope you understand. So this is 10, 9, 9, which is 10 plus 9 plus 9. You could write 19 plus 9, which is 28. So let's write the sequence. Okay, so let's make up a table from this pattern. It's good to make up a table. So this is number. So this leads to the table. So N is the design number. We say we denote the letter N for the design number. And let's say M for the number of math sticks number of match stick. So making up a table from number, from a number sequence, this is leading me to a table. So can I say in the first design, you have 10 match sticks. In the second, in the second design, I have 19. In the third, I have 28. So I want you to look at the number pattern here. What's the change in the number of match sticks. So let me use a different color. So here this is increasing by how much? 10 plus what is 19? So you well you say this is plus 9. 19 plus what is 28? So that's again 9. So if you build up the pattern, so the fourth would be what? The same, it will follow the same pattern, which is plus 9, which will give me 9, 28 plus 9 is 37. Okay, now we want to write, formulate the rule that gives the number of match sticks, which is M, required for the nth design. So I want to find a relation, a rule between M and N. So I look at the number and say, <coughs> this 10 is related with this 1 and 9. So what, what sort of relationship can you find between 1 and 10 and 9? So well, I can go, okay, 9 times 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10. That does work. If I take 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Same way, if you take n as 3 and relate with this 9, so 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28. Again, 9 times 4 is 36, plus 1, 37. So the formula that I can write is M, which is the number of match sticks, is equal to 9 times N, which is written as 9M plus 1. So let me go over. So let me only check 1 so that you understand. So uh, say when N is, when N is, say 3, what is M? So let us put this back into this equation. So M is 9N means 9 times 3 plus 1. So we use the bed mass. First you multiply, which is 27 plus 1, which is 28. So your formula is perfect. Okay. Now, the next question is, use this rule in part A to find the number of math stick for the 12th design. For the 12th design. So basically they're asking you, M is, if M is 9N plus 1, and M is 12, what is M? That's the question. So you have to simply put 12 into this equation. So M would be 
9 times 12 plus 1. You can use a calculator, but 9 times 12 is the same as 12 times 9, which is 108. I can, I'll show this on calculator, which is 109. Now, the good way you're allowed a graphic calculator, so go to table and type in that equation. So here, your y you can compare with m, and your n you can compare with x. So I'm going to type in 9x plus 1. Okay, n you're relating with x. Then go to set, and I set the table from 1 to 12, because I, we want to see whether these number matches up with the table on the calculator. So can you see when n is 1, let me move this slightly. When n is 1, or when x is 1, y is 10. Or when n is 1, m is 10. And let me scroll down. So 19, 28, 37. So I just want to check whether the answer that I've got is right. So when n is 12, your m is 109. So our question, okay, I'll, okay. Now this is number design, uh, sorry, number table. Now let me show this on a graphic on a graphical way. Go to graph. This is your graph on a graphic calculator, and type in this equation 9x plus 1, just to show you how you type in the equation. And I want to you have to set set your graph. So go shift V window. Can you see I have set my x from 0 to 12, scale of 1, and I have set my y which is for the number of math stick from 0 to 120 because I know my the maximum I want to go is 109. So I put in 120 in a scale of 10. And then graph it. So this is your, uh, if you, this is your gradient and this is your y-intercept, just to check. So I'm trying to explain many things. So this is y-intercept is 1, okay? And then only to check your answer, you want to find y, so the calculator is asking you what's your x, x is 12, you can put any number, when x is 12, y is 109, when x is 4, y should be 37, so again G sol, F6 and Y calc, when y is 4, what is y, 37, so this is fine, okay, now this question is an excellent question, so you need to focus and listen. I know you're, you may be a, a bit tired. If we add the math sticks, we get sequence. For the first math stick you need 10, for the second you need 29 and so on. So you want to find the formula to find the total number of math sticks that would be required for. So what am I saying is, uh, say you, if you have only one design, Okay, so let me write the sequence. So the sequence is 10 plus, so if you have only one sequence, you, your S1 is 10, okay? If you have two design, it is 10 plus 19, which is 29, that's what I'm saying. If you have, say, three designs, it is 10 plus 19 plus 28, which is so the question is, if you want to go up to Sn, what's the formula? So I'll write the original sequence. So Sn, Sn can be written as 10 plus 19 plus 10 plus 19 plus 28. Okay. So this is a bit confusing. Uh, plus I'll leave some space here. I want to write here something. I'll write that. So the last sequence of this is 9n plus 1. I'll put this in bracket. So, okay, so this is your sequence. Okay, Sn is adding up 9, 10 plus 19 plus and so on. So that means if you've got 1, you only go up to the first term. If you go if you go S2, you go from 10 and 19. If you have got S3, you go 10, 19, and 28. 
So you want to go from S from one, the first design to the nth design. So this is the nth design. So I want you to think what will be the design or what will be the match sticks in the design before the nth design? That would be 9 less than this. Okay, so what is 9 less than this? That is 9n minus 8. I want you to pause and think. Okay. So this is your nth design, this is your n minus 1th design, just before that, because this is going up in 9. Can you see this is going up in 9? This is going up in 9. So if you go backwards, you are taking away 9. So if you take away 9 from this, you'll get this. Again, if you take away 9 from this, you get 9n minus 17. Okay. Now I'm going to write Sn in the reverse order. Sn in the reverse order. So this is your first and this is the end. So if you want to write the reverse order, this will be 9n plus 1 plus this 9n minus 8 plus this which is 9n minus 17 plus dot dot dot. You're writing in the reverse order. I'll have to write here 28 plus 19 plus 10. A bit difficult, so let me draw a straight line here. Uh, this is a line, okay, so this is, okay, so if you add this to, let me use black now, if you add this to, Sn plus Sn is 2 times Sn is equal to, so let me make divisions here, so that you can see it's too clumsy. Okay. Okay. Now, what is this? 10 plus 9n plus 1 will give you 9n plus 11. Can you see? If you add this to 9n minus 8 plus 19 is nothing but 9n plus 11. Again, here you can see the pattern 9n plus. 11 plus dot 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 plus 9n plus 11 plus again this is 9n plus 11 plus this is again 9n plus 11. So how many lots of 9n plus 11 are this in this addition? So you can say you've got n lots of, let me use, so I can say 2 times Sn is equal to n times 9n plus 11. Okay, so if you divide both, so if you divide this side by 2, you can divide this side by 2. So let me use the violet color. So this and this gets cancelled. So Sn is n times 9n plus 11 divided by 2. Now we need to check this formula whether this formula is really right or wrong. So, we said S3 is 57. Okay, we said S3 is 57. So, let's check that. So, let me use a different color. So, S3 is, you have to put 3 in place of N. So, let's see, 3 times 9 times 3 plus 11 divided by 2. So it is 3 times, this is 27 plus 11 divided by 2, which is 2 times, this is 30, 38 divided by 2, or oh, this is 3, sorry, I am getting tired, so this is, so let me use a calculator, so this is nothing but 3 times 19, which is 57. I'll show you this on a calculator. So menu 1, you can directly type in this whole thing. So 3 bracket 9 times 3 plus, because the calculator understand bit mass, that is 114, that is divided by 2, which is 57. So this formula is perfectly fine. This is one of the longest video. Hopefully this has been helpful. See you in the next video.